you guys see that? Did you read this? Did you see this article from Bitcoin Magazine? A judge has imposed a worldwide asset freeze on fake Satoshi Craig Wright. So now that people are a little bit emboldened to include fake in front of Craig Wright name. Isn't that crazy? After the trial between Copa and himself. So now everyone is running crazy with this fake title for Craig Wright. And now seeing the antics that Craig has done throughout the trial. This calls for concern. Yeah, this man may try to move a couple of his assets around so he don't have to pay. So he had to pay up. Why would it happen so fast, though? Let's break this article down and see what's up. Now, a UK judge has ordered to freeze $7.6 million worth of Craig's, Craig Wright's assets worldwide after finding that he falsely claimed to be Satoshi Nakamoto. The pseudonymous inventor of Bitcoin falsely claimed. So when you're dealing with somebody who has shown themselves to be false, a liar, deceitful, you got to be precautious. You, you got to take other stances to protect yourself and to get those things that he or she needs to pay up. Because he's not moving in an honorable way. So the judge is like, all right, cool. Let me drop this um, order to make sure that we freeze this dude's assets. Now, of course, if you a, you know, a criminal, somebody who knows how to skirt around these laws, these systems, these regulations, these policies, then this asset forfeiture or freeze won't impact him as much. You would think this man if he's not being truthful throughout the trial that he was already moving in the background his assets a UK just ordered to freeze 7.6 million dollars or 6 million pounds worth of Craig Wright's assets worldwide at the finding that he falsely claimed to be Satoshi Nakamoto here's the order right there okay so it's real it was printed on the 28th of March couple of days from today okay now the order comes after Wright's decisive loss in a landmark lawsuit against the crypto open patent alliance earlier in march judge james miller ruled that Wright did not author the bitcoin white paper create bitcoin or develop his early software debunking his long-standing claims to the contrary now, how could the judge come up with that type of resolution, that type of ruling? How? Because he saw the evidence. He saw the trial. He saw how Craig moved his facial expressions throughout the trial. That's how he made that ruling. It's not necessarily that he wanted personally to say that he is a fake. No, the evidence that was presented from the plaintiff convinced the judge enough to say yeah Craig is not the real Satoshi Nakamoto even with him lying on numerous occasions so Miller has granted Copa's application for a worldwide freezing injunction to prevent Wright from dissipating assets and evading costs related to the case so that obviously means if Copa told the judge requested from the judge hey judge i need you to go ahead and, and approve this application for freezing craig's rights asset because something must have happened something happened you're just not going to submit an application on the whim if you don't have any purpose of submitting an application this is it right there the next sentence the british judge found rights recent transfer of shares to an overseas company gave rise to serious concerns about his intentions to avoid the impending costs order so we got the ruling on the trial next thing up is how much this man has to pay that's the next order that's going to come from the judge now the plaintiff is going to submit what they think Craig needs to pay up the judge is going to look at it and say yeah your name to it but in the meantime, 
they saw Craig trying to move some things around. He's trying to move some shares to an overseas company that is outside the jurisdiction of maybe this UK court to where James, the judge, can't place his hands on. He can't control it. Now, here it is right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer. I wanted to, this is the trigger for the hearing. This is what caused the judge to issue out that injunction to freeze Craig's assets. On Monday, the 18th of March, the Monday after the conclusion of the trial, Wright filed a form at company's house in respect of his company RCJBR holding by which form he notified company's house that his shares in RCJBR had been transferred to the Morgan PTE a company organized under the laws of Singapore that there would tell you that that is outside the jurisdiction of the UK so now given that he went through these lengths to try to transfer shares around worldwide the judge called that and said alright cool I'm going to put a war ride freeze on your assets then understandably that gave rise to serious concerns on Copa's part that Dr. Wright was implementing measures to seek to evade the cost consequences of his loss at trial given those concerns and notwithstanding that I have yet to hand down my judgment, COPA issued, lodged, and served its application for cause on Friday the 22nd of March. Thereafter, it issued its application for a worldwide freezing order in respect of rights likely cost liability. The reason why COPA wished their cost applications to be heard first was because as I understand the position there is some debate in the authorities as to whether there is jurisdiction for making a freezing order injunction for a prospective cost order before I address that point I will briefly set out the position as to COPA's cost and then remind myself of the basic principles there it is right there Craig got caught right after trial before the judge issue out his final judgment on how much Craig is going to have to pay up somebody saw him try to transfer his shares around so Copa had two applications before the court upon being given notice the developers sought to have their application for costs and other release determined at this hearing and therefore appeared by Mr. Gunny Copa suggested that the application for costs should be determined first. The combination of the applications has given rise to a difficulty. On the one hand, Copa only gave short notice of this hearing to Wright for fear that if longer notice was given, he would, get this, he would effect further transfers of his assets with a view to evading the enforcement of any cost order made against him. And then on the other hand, Dr. Wright has not been given time to prepare properly for arguments on the cost. So Copa is trying to move swift with this. They're like, they're trying to go real quick because the longer that they wait, then that could increase the prospect of Wright, Craig, trying to go ahead and move more assets around to where it's outside the jurisdiction of the courts. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. You guys can see when you've been found to be a loser in a case or you lost a case the next thing that the defendant usually do if they do have any assets of value they try to move it around so that is not within the control of the courts that they can't reach it and this is not nothing new it happens all the time especially with prominent people who have massive amounts of resources and don't want to pay up like that's why they have so many different bodies of organizations companies licenses the formation of these companies are in different jurisdictions across the world 
is all the paper trail. So maybe, because it's kind of crazy, that Craig will have a business trying to transfer some shares that's made under laws in Singapore. The court trial was in Britain. But he has a business created under the laws of Singapore. Hmm. Make you wonder. Now, I wanted to look at this tweet real quick before I let you all go. Judge Miller quotes from the freezing order judgment. Quote, that necessarily means, as I shall explain in my trial judgment, that Wright has forged documents on a grand scale and during his cross-examination he lied extensively and repeatedly see Craig's actions has dictated this worldwide asset freeze against his person because the judge actually saw his mannerisms and him lying extensively quote Dr. Wright has shown himself prepared to lie and to double down on his lies on such a grand scale that his quote commercial morality can only be assessed as being unacceptably unacceptably if that's a word low man the judge is putting Craig on blast like it's, it's kind of crazy the people who are in Craig's inner circle do you really think they trust him like that the company you keep the court has concluded that Dr. Wright has given extensive and elaborate dishonest evidence elaborate dishonest evidence under oath in multiple sets of proceedings it makes no sense how can you take Craig at his word because you can't this is a massive light being shown on the character of who Craig really is. Quote, I also take into account Wright's proclivity to forge documents, plus his changing story about the Tulip Trust, which I will discuss briefly in my trial judgment. End quote. The final written judgment will be brutal. This is what the post tweet ends up. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Craig, you got some explaining to do. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the probability. And as always, trade different.